Well, we're uh, eager to share the experience we've had living out here for the past um, 30 years, um, experiencing using solar and wind energy, but even more important is, is the fact that we're, we've learned to conserve um, and still have a good life. Well, I like living closer to nature, but also being that we are interconnected, that, that helps me be more conscious of it. And I think as we're more conscious, then we're going to want to do the things that uh, help create those connections and, and allow life to continue. As conventional energy prices get higher, and the only way they're going to go is higher, um, there are many things that, you know, over um, two and three years now, there's, you know, well, like a good example is compact fluorescent light bulb. I mean, that's just, you don't have to be an environmentalist to put in a compact fluorescent light bulb and save money. All you need to be is a, an accountant, you know. <laughs> So, and, uh, yeah, so there's a lot of things that can be done just strictly to save money. And sometimes people start out that way, and then they kind of get the bug of, well, this is really good, and, and it feels good, and, and uh, feeling good is, is worthwhile. <laughs> I guess the people I admire the most are the people that, I mean, we're we're doing our little thing here, and hopefully we're connecting and make and spreading it. But the people that work towards making policy changes, so I mean, structural changes in the way our political and economic system work, those are really important things. <laughs> that uh, and you know, it's all a a piece of the pie. But um, individual action is good and important, but it doesn't stop there.